to metal wheel interlocking was introduced to Indian Railways in June 1958 and the first installation was at Churchgate Station of Western Railway. In this system, pressing of two buttons automatically sets and locks all the points and if all interlocking conditions are fulfilled, clears the relevant signal. Metal to metal relay interlocking system has the following circuits. Signal group relays circuit. Signal push button repeater relays GNPR. Push button relays UNR, UNPR, WNR. Direction determination relay circuit ZURR and ZUNR. Circuit for shunt. GRR and GNR, GRLR and GNLR. Subroute initiation circuit Z1UR and Z1UPR. Signal initiation circuit GZR and ZDUCR. Emergency route release relays circuits EUYR, EUYNR, EUUYNR. Emergency Route Release Circuit EUUYNCR EUUYR Overlap Circuits OVZ2URR and OVZ2UNR Over Time Relays ATR Relays Approach Lock Time Relays Route Relay Groups Route Group Indication Lamps Operation of DRS point group. Connection for point group operation. Point control and detection feed. Crank handle interlocking circuits CHYRR and CHYNR. Illumination of points. Siding control and LC gate control circuits. Illumination of birthing tracks. Main signal GLSR circuit. Main signal control circuit. Calling on signal control circuit. Shunt signal control circuit. Main signal 2 aspect, 3 aspect, 4 aspect lamp circuit. Calling on signal lamp circuit. Shunt signal lamp circuit. Shunt signal group indication and panel illumination. Track repeater relays. Circuit for block instruments. Alarm circuit. Power supply arrangements. Cable termination rack particulars. The yard shown is of standard 3 Class B double nine four road station with two sidings. Interlocked by means of root setting type of relay interlocking with metal to metal contact relays. Entire yard is provided with multiple aspect color light signaling. The signals are up distant, up inner distant. S2 is up home signal. S3 is up main starter signal. S4 is up loop starter signal, S5 is up down loop starter signal and S8 is advanced starter signal. The signals are down distant, down inner distant, S20 is down home signal, S19 is down main starter signal, S18 is up down loop starter signal and S15 is advanced starter signal. Shunt signal number 9 is provided on down main line. Shunt signal number 10 is provided on up AD siding. Shunt signal number 12 is provided on up main line and shunt signal number 13 is provided on down AD siding. All the points are operated with electric point machines. They are crossover point number 101 provided between up and down main lines. Crossover point number 102 provided between up down loop and down main line. Crossover point number 103 
provided between down AD siding and up down loop line. Crossover point number 104 provided between up main and up loop line. Crossover point number 111 provided between up loop and up AD siding line. Crossover point number 112 provided between up loop and up main line. Crossover point number 114 provided on down main to up down loop line. Crossover point number 115 provided between up main and down main line. All points are provided with crank handle facility. Track circuits provided in the yard are 201T is the calling on signal number 2 track circuit. 202T, 203T, 204T, 205T, 207T, 209T, 211T, 212T, 213T, 218T, 219T, 222T, 223T and 224T track circuits are signal control track circuits. 225T is advanced starter control track circuit. 231T is the calling on signal number 20 track circuit. 232T, 233T, 234T, 235T, 239T, 241T, 244T, 246T, 248T, 249T, 252T, 253T and 254T track circuits are signal control track circuits. 255T is advanced starter control track circuit. Up and down advanced starters are controlled by double line token less block instrument. Of route section plan for double line station with the signaling plan. Route sections. In the above signaling plan starting from left to right. There are two route sections without points. One route section falling after up home signal S2 named as S2URS. Another root section falling after the down advanced starter signal S15 named as S15URS. One subroot 101A by B will be marked with two root sections 101A towards main line and 101B towards diversion line and the other subroute 101 small a is marked with one root section 101 small a. Over the point number 102, at any point of time only one movement is possible. Over this point the root settings to be in one subroute named as 102a by b with root sections 102 a and 102B. Of the point number 103, at any point of time, only one moment is possible. Hence, one subroute named as 103A by B with root sections 103A and 103B. Over the point number 104, at any point of time, only one movement is possible. Hence, one subroute named as 104A by B subroute with root sections 104A and 104B. Over the point number 111, at any point of time, only one movement is possible. Hence, one subroute named as 111A 
by B with root sections 111A and 111B. Over the point number 114, at any point only one movement is possible. Hence, one subroute named as 114A by B with root sections 114A and 114B. Over the point number 112, at any point of time only one movement is possible. Hence, one subroute named as 112A by B with root sections 112A and 112B provided. Over the point number 115, with 115 in normal position, two parallel movements are possible and which requires two subroutes for the two parallel movements. Generally, we can provide subroute number 115A by B and subroute number 115 small a with root section 115 small a. But here, this root section 115A is combined with 112A and 112B root sections with different point setting as one subroute 112A by B along with subroute number 115A by B. By this arrangement, one subroute 115A is saved. Now, over point number 112 and 115, we have two subroutes 112A by B with root sections 112A, 112B and subroute 115A by B with root sections 115A and 115B. There are two root sections without points. One root section falling after the home signal S20 named as S20 URS. Another root section falling after the last stop signal S8 is named as S8 URS. Overlaps. Down home signal number 20 overlaps are marked as below. For S20 to down main line only one overlap from S19 to S15 named as OV19. From S20 to up down loop line, this movement have two overlaps. From S18 to sand hump with point number 102 normal named as OV118. From S18 to S15 with point number 102 reversed named as OV218. Similarly, up home signal S2 overlaps are as marked below. For S2 to up main line, only one overlap from S3 to S8 named as OV3. For S2 to up loop line, this movement will have two overlaps. From S4 to sand hump with point number 112 normal named as OV14. From S4 to S8 with point number 112 reverse named as OV24. For S2 to up down loop line, only one overlap from S5 to stand hump named as OV5. Pointing with operating panel. This is an operating cup indication panel which consists of main signal buttons and shunt signal buttons. Indications for signal aspects. Counters for various emergency operation. Station master key, common buttons, other keys, etc. in metal-to-metal -metal relay interlocking. 
metal to metal relay interlocking system has the following circuits signal group relays circuit signal push button repeater relays GNPR push button relays UNR UNPR WNR direction determination relay circuit ZURR and ZUNR circuit for shunt GRR and GNR GRLR and GNLR subroute initiation circuit Z1UR and Z1UPR signal initiation circuit GZR and ZDUCR emergency route release relays circuits EUYR EUYNR EUUYNR emergency route release circuit EUUYNCR EUUYR overlap circuits OVZ2URR and OVZ2UNR overlap time relays approach track relays approach lock time relays root relay groups root group indication lamps operation of DRS point group connection for point group operation point control and detection feed crank handle interlocking circuits CHYRR and CHYNR illumination of points siding control and LC gate control circuits illumination of berthing tracks main signal GLSR circuit main signal control circuit calling on signal control circuit shunt signal control circuit main signal 2 aspect 3 aspect 4 aspect lamp circuit calling on signal lamp circuit shunt signal lamp circuit shunt signal group indication and panel illumination track repeater relays circuit for block instruments alarm circuit power supply arrangements k rack particulars Signal button relay circuit. When any signal button GN is pressed, signal button relay GNR picks up in the concerned signal relay group. For example, when S2 signal button S2 GN is pressed in the S2 signal group, S2 GNR relay picks up, proving S2 EGNR in drop condition. repeating relay circuit S2 GNPR relay picks up when S2 GNR picks up along with all other signal button proving relays namely S3 S4 S5 S8 S15 S18 S19 S20 shunt 9 shunt 10 shunt 12 shunt 13 GNPR are down and point button checking relay and point group button emergency point button crank handle button checking relay are up as these are conflicting with signal operation and station master SM key is in please note that in metal to metal relay interlocking system station master SM key is proved in buttons circuits only
Signal button checking relay circuit. Signal button checking relay GNCR picks up proving all the signal button proving relays are in drop condition. This relay proves that all signal buttons are in normal condition. If any signal button is pressed, this relay drops. GNCR1 picks up through negative path by proving all the signal button relays are in dropped condition. In the original drawings, not only signal button proving relay but also other repeating relay contacts if any are also proved in drop condition. root button is pressed proving concerned root button pressed contact along with all other root button relays of the yard are in drop condition along with point button normal checking relay and point common buttons normal checking relay are in normal position station master SM key in then concerned root button relay and its repeating relay will pick up Root button normal checking relay circuit. Root button normal checking relay UNCR normally in pickup position proving all root buttons and with their proving relays UNRs are in drop condition. UNCR1 picks up through negative path by proving all the root button relays are in dropped condition. In original circuits UNR along with UNPRs are also proved. In some cases, this relay is also called as station root button checking relay station UNCR.
point button relay circuit. Whenever any point button is pressed, proving concerned point button pressed contact along with all other point button relay contacts in normal position, signal button checking relay GNCR, route button checking relay UNCR are normal, station master SM key in position, concern point button relay WNR picks up. If more number of contacts are required, WNPR also picks up along with WNR. Point button normal checking relay circuit. Point button normal checking relay WNCR normally in top position proving all point buttons and their relays repeating relays if any are in normal position. This relay also sometimes called as station point button normal checking relay. Taking off a signal, signal button GN and root button UN are to be pressed simultaneously. When signal button GN is pressed, signal button relay GNR picks up in the signal group. GNR up makes signal button repeating relay GNPR to pick up and GNPR relay pick up makes signal button normal checking relay GNCR to drop. Similarly, when a root button UN is pressed, root button relay UNR picks up and makes root button repeating relay UNPR relay to pick up. This in turn drops the root button checking relay UNCR with GNPR up and UNPR up the circuit nose. The direction of the train and the direction determining relay ZURR or ZUNR picks up depending upon the movement of the train. Whether the movement is for main signal movement or shunt signal movement and the signal selection relay shunt GNR or shunt GRR picks up for selecting main or shunt signal movement. For diversion movement, diversion relay Z1UR1 picks up. Whether the movement is straight movement or diversion movement, accordingly diversion relay z one UR1 pickup or drop contact is proved. That is, for diversion movement, diversion relay Z1 UR1 pickup contact is required. Straight movement diversion relay Z1 UR1 drop contact is proved. For left to right movement, ZUNR picks up and for the right to left movement, ZURR picks up. 
Each berthing track is provided with one direction determining relay. And when buttons are pressed, all direction determining relays in the root portion will pick up. When normal direction determining relay ZUNR picks up, all the signals requiring reverse direction determining relay ZURR pickup condition cannot be taken off. This provides a rigid interlocking between opposite signals. Shunt GNR picks up for main signal movement or calling on signal movement and shunt GRR picks up for shunt signal movement. Signal selection relay provides rigid interlocking between main signal and shunt signal. Whenever the root is common for a main signal and the shunt signal, one signal selection relay shunt GRNR will be provided for this interlocking. With the picking up of direction determining relay, diversion relay and signal selection relay, all the subroutes in the required route are initiated. Subroute initiation relay first Z1UR and second Z1UR relays picks up in series. When first Z1UR relay picks up, then the circuit progress forward with that relay pickup contact. Similarly, when second Z1UR relay picks up, circuit progress further with that relay pickup contact. With subroute initiation relays picking up, signal initiation relay GZR will pick up. For main signal, main GZR picks up. For shunt signal, shunt GZR picks up. Calling on signal does not have any signal initiation relay and at this stage calling on signal button relay pickup contact is used for calling on signal initiation. There will be only one main signal initiation relay for one zone or the yard if it is small. Similarly, there will be only one shunt signal initiation relay for one zone or the yard if it is small. If there are two zones, there will be two signal initiation relays for main signals as well as shunt signals. With signal initiation relay picks up contact, zonal root clearance checking relay ZDUCR picks up. There will be only one ZDUCR for one. If there are two zones, there will be two zonal root clearance checking relays. With ZDUCR picking up, the root settling will take place, that is root section setting relay URS or root section setting relays will pick up. Simultaneously, overlap setting relay OVZ2URR will also pick up. With root section setting relay URS and overlap setting relay OVZ2URR picking up, the points in the root as well as the overlap will get initiated and their point group initiation relays Z1WR will pick up. With Z1WR relays up and point chain group relays picking up, point operation will take place. Finally, point normal detection relay NWKR or point reverse detection relay RWKR will pick up as required for the signal movement. With root section setting relay URS up, Signal lock stick relay GLSR will pick up and gets a stick path. GLSR relay proves one signal one train feature. With root section setting relay URS up and with point track circuits up, root clear indication relay UDKR picks up. With root section setting relay up, point zone track circuits up and with point detection relays up, Root clear checking relay DOCR picks up. Root clear indication relay UDKR is used in root release circuits as point detection is not necessary for root release. Root clear checking relay DUCR contacts are used in signal clearance circuits as they have point detection contacts. GLSR relay is a final relay picks up with buttons in pressed condition. After this, buttons are to be released for the circuit to progress further. When buttons are released, all neutral relays so far picked up, that is GNR, GNPR, UNR, UNPR, Z1UR, 
GZR and ZDUCR relays drop. With Z1UR, GZR and ZDUCR relays dropping and UDKR, DUCR relays up all the point zone subroutes in the required route will get locked through picking up of subroute locking relays URLR. Once subroutes are locked, signal control relay GR1 will pick up all vital contacts proved in signal control relay circuit. Once signal control relay GR1 picks up, its repeating relay GPR1 relay picks up. Picking up of GPR1 relay completes the path for route indicator and when the route indicator is lit with proper number of lamps, route lamp checking relay UECR picks up. Picking up of GPR1 relay disconnects stick path to GLSR relay. However, signal lock stick relay will be in up position because of its slow to release feature. With GR1 up, GLSR up and UECR up for loop line or NWKR up for main line, signal locking relay GRLR will pick up. By this time, the condenser supporting GLSR relay to stay in pickup position will be discharged and GLSR relay drops. With GR1 up, GLSR down, GRLR up, signal control relay GR2 up. Picking up of GR1 and GR2 signal is off and displays yellow aspect. Yellow aspect lamp checking relay HECR picks up. Direction Determining Relay Circuit Each berthing track is provided with one direction determining relay ZUNR and ZURR Proving signal button is pressed, route button is pressed and both sides first route section setting relays of that berthing track are normal and both sides overlap setting relays of that berthing track are normal ZURR relay picks up when route is cleared by the train and route is released or free, ZUNR will pick up and ZURR relay will drop and ZUNR remains in pickup condition. If any train movement requires ZUNR relay contact, it can be used directly. For example, when S20 GNR button relay up along with down main route, button relay down main UNR up, proving 114 AURS relay down, 102 AURS relay down, OV19Z2U RR relay down, down main ZUNR relay up, that is economizer contact, and then down main ZURR relay picks up.
circuit. When buttons are pressed for a main signal movement, main signal selection relay shunt GNR, which is normally in pickup condition, pickup contact is directly used in further circuits. For shunt signal movement, shunt GRR has to pick up. Proving signal button pressed and root button pressed, all root section setting relays URS in the root initiated are down and all overlap setting relays OVZ2URR are down in the root. Shunt GNR up as economizer contact, shunt signal selection relay shunt GRR picks up. When the signal movement is completed or otherwise, when root is released, shunt GNR relay picks up. This relay pickup contact will be directly used for main signal movement or for calling on signal movement. For example, when shunt 2 signal button and up main UN are pressed, proving shunt 2 GNR up, UNC are down. 101A URS down, 101B URS down, 101C URS down, OV4Z2URR down, OV5Z2URR down, OV26Z2URR down, shunt 2 GNR up, economizer contact, and then shunt 2 GRR relay picks up. Button along with the root button are to be pressed. This will make concerned GNR, GNPR and UNR, UNPR relays to pick up and GNCR, UNCR relays to drop. From the signal button and the root button pressed circuit chooses. Whether the signal movement is a main signal movement or a shunt signal movement accordingly either shunt GNR for main signal or shunt GRR for shunt signal will pick up. Whether the signal movement is left to right movement or right to left movement accordingly either ZUNR relay for left to right movement or ZURR relay for right to left movement will pick up. Whether the signal movement is a straight movement or diversion movement. If it is a diversion movement Z1UR1 for each crossover or point will pick up and their front contacts will be used in the further circuits. If it is a straight movement over points, each Z1 UR1 relay drop contacts will be used in the further circuits. Diversion Relay Circuit Each crossover is provided with a Z1 UR1 relay and its pickup contact is used for diversion movement and drop contact used for straight movement. Z1UR1 relay is named after the point. For example, 101B Z1UR1 and 102B Z1UR1. This relay picks up, for example, whenever the buttons pressed are main home signal button along with loop line root button or loop line starter signal button along with root button. For example, when home signal S20 signal button is pressed along with up loop line root button is pressed 114BZ1UR1 relay picks up. Same relay will also pick up when starter signal S5 signal button is pressed along with 224 root button. For signal initiation relay main GZR or shunt GZR zonal root clearance checking relay ZDUCR 
root section setting relay URS and overlap setting relay OVZ2URR to pick up the points in required position is to be proved as for the root initiated. But in root setting type root relay interlocking NWKR and RWKR relays are normally in down position. Only when root setting relays URS or overlap setting relays OVZ2URR picks up points operation will get initiated and after completion of point operation these relays picks up. Hence in the above main GZR, shunt GZR, ZDUCR, URS and OVZ2URR relay circuits, NWKR and RWKR relay pickup contacts cannot be used directly. Here the circuit will take the help of diversion relay pickup contact and drop contact. Z1UR1 pickup contact along with NWKR drop contact for proving point reverse setting that is the required movement is diversion movement and points are not engaged with normal detection. Z1UR1 drop contact along with RWKR drop contact for proving point reverse setting that is the required movement is straight movement and points are not engaged with reverse direction. For the time being let's name the above arrangement as point detection proving with Z1UR1 relay that is Z1UR1 up plus NWKR down for RWKR up. Z1UR1 down plus RWKR down for NWKR up.